Today's grocery haul is brought to you by Tao and Wilfred and Alfie and Tilly and by the color Wilfred and the letter Wilfred. Wilfred! Today is Wednesday. This is Wednesday's grocery haul for it's a week haul um, for a week, not a not strong haul. Uh, I spent a hundred a hundred and four dollars and four cents of which um, most of it was groceries there's one can of tuna there for the cats and um, seven dollars for the pommel of conditioner for me and then there's a bottle of like um, spray for breeze to Febreze the bears and that I think was like six dollars so 13 17 so like 17 dollars of the 105 was for other things so that was a pretty good shop um, most of it is actually produce which I'm pretty happy with um, so I'll start over here let's see that's just my coffee from this morning so this is, oh it's not Febreze, it's Glen 20 Dettol Antibacterial Fabric Mist. Um, we're actually going to spray our big bears because they sit on the floor and the dogs sleep on them. So we air them out as often as we can out on the back line but I want to also, obviously there's no way we can actually wash them so, um, and the normal tricks that I would use like, um, you know, like using uh, bicarb and that sort of stuff or like wiping down with uh, like eucalyptus oil. I can't do that because they're so big. So we're going to try this. Hopefully that will help. Um, I might actually also spray this on the couches to help freshen them up. And then this is just conditioner for me. It's a big bottle. It was on sale for $7. So um, I picked one up. I'm not like super fussed about what conditioner I use. Um, main thing is as long as it actually works on my hair. Like, I'll buy cheap stuff, that's fine. Uh, this is a kilo of uh, apples. Oh, they're royal galas. Damn it. I thought... Ah. They were in the pile with the Fujis, but they pretended, and they're actually royal galas. I mean, royal galas are okay. I prefer Fujis, but that's okay. I'll eat them anyway. I've kind of been craving, like, crispy things, so apples. Um, this was a two-for-one punnets of strawberries deal. I've never seen this uh, packaging before. I think the the Australian distri distributors packaging is like new. Um, but someone else was buying some and they said they were really good, so I bought them. It was I think it's two dollars for the two punnets, which is really cheap. And a celery bunch. I only wanted to make celery sticks. But you could buy a tray of celery sticks for three dollars or you could buy and it was like just this much and like 12 sticks or you could buy the entire celery for two dollars ninety so i just bought the entire celery and i'll figure out what i can do with the leaves i might be able to cook them somehow and i'm sure tao will have fun playing with the the bottom um one banana <laughs> this is to um try and ripen up this lone avocado from the last bunch we got this one just never ripened um, and the one before that was not very good so we're gonna do the paper bag banana avocado trick and see if that helps and then um, a quarter of a Savoy and a half a warm box this is for Thursday night's dinner with Mr. Moose's dad part of the sukiyaki veggies uh, some more avocados which are squishy so that's good. Um, a bag of mini carrots to snack on. Two quarters of watermelon because they were a dollar a kilo. So I don't, I don't, how much did I actually pay for them? Um, I paid two dollars sixty eight for both pieces. So that's pretty good. And then moving on to the fridge stuff, I got. Um, like five dollars worth of twiggy sticks they're so much cheaper at the deli i didn't realize so that's where i'll get them from now on a block of danish feta uh because we're doing pasta tonight 
and some Chobani caramelized dip onion. I've never tried Chobani dip before. I don't really like their yogurt, um, but I thought I'd try their dip. I don't think I've ever tried caramelized onion dip, um, but none of the others really sounded appealing for carrots and celery, so we'll see. Um, light whipped cream for my coffee, light milk for Mr. Moose, some pasta sauce for Mr. Moose. He gets the semi sun-dried creamy tomato sauce. Uh, some rice pudding for my desserts this coming week. Yum. Um, tuna for the cats, like I said before. Some salada crackers for me for my lunches. Um, some chipotle sauce, cashew spread for me. That last one I had was really good, so I'm going to keep on with the cashew spread. It's yummy. Uh, Mirin because we're running out. This is just a staple for Jap cooking Japanese food, so we always have some on hand. Uh, this honey, I've not tried the Capilano's yellow box before. We normally don't get Capilano because it's not especially cheap, but this was on sale for half price, so it was $1.33 a kilo of honey, and it was um, the cheapest. The, the next closest one was like the home brand for $1.45, I think, so hopefully it's yummy. Um, I don't know how like honey flavors differ that much, but we'll see. Uh, two cans of cream of chicken condensed soup. This is what we use when we make gnocchi bake, um, which we were supposed to do tonight, but we didn't have this, so we decided to do pasta instead. Um, but I thought we can maybe do this on the weekend, so um, I bought two because it was two for three dollars, I think. Then a loaf of sourdough white bread for me, and a loaf of raisin bread for Mr. Moose because that was half price on sale. And lastly, a roast chicken. Uh, there was no. I normally get like the macro organic free range roast chickens, but they didn't have any, and they said they weren't making any more for the day, so I just picked up a regular one. They're normally I think like twelve dollars, and it was reduced down to seven ninety. So. I think he was made maybe earlier during the day, but he's still like he still looks fine. So I'll um, shred him to put in pasta tonight and for sandwiches and stuff. Today's grocery haul is brought to you by Tao, being adorable on Baloo's lap. So cute. Today is Thursday. This is Thursday's doggo haul. Uh, it's really small. It was pretty expensive though. I think I spent 47 just on this. Like only the chicken was on special and even that wasn't really on special and there was just no food there for dogs. So a little bit disappointed. Um, I'll have to go again. Hopefully this will last until Saturday, Sunday, the most so. Hopefully there's more on the weekend. So I got two trays of giblets. Um, the price of this stuff is the same. It's always been $5 a kilo. And these are always about 500 gram trays. Um, and it's the same as the supermarket. So it doesn't really matter where you get giblets. Um, also a tray of chicken livers. This I could have gotten much cheaper if I'd gotten lamb liver or beef liver. But um the magic of these is that they're ready in little pieces so i don't have to chop up liver which i hate doing because i hate the smell of liver Ugh, so that was a bit expensive um but again it's 4.99 a kilo so always the same price um these beef hearts uh they're not huge but the the smallest amount there's the smallest amount of fat on them um there are two other beef hearts that were three dollars each but they were like 50 percent fat so i got the more expensive ones for the dogs and i've got three trays of turkey wings so not much at all and they're pretty small so um they won't last long uh but that was all they had there and then i also picked up two trays of chicken marylands that were on special for six dollars which is still really expensive um, you know these are regularly $5.99 now. When we started buying meat from Tasman like a year, maybe a year ago, a bit more than that, they were $3.99 a kilo, which is ridiculous. Um, so I just had to get some because there was no lamb, no lamb necks, no lamb flaps, uh, no other like specials or anything. So um, 
chicken so they'll be really happy with that because they don't get that very often anymore uh, the schnitzels are for us and I also got two bags of sardines um, so either they're gonna the meals will be a little bit heavy on sardines or I'll just use one bag and I'll put one bag in the freezer for the weekend when I do the next batch but sardines are always pretty cheap it's 550 for a bag and you get like Probably like 15 sardines or so in a bag, maybe. They're pretty big. Um, so, yeah, it will probably be heavily sardine based to ensure that the meals stretch out a bit longer. Today's grocery haul is brought to you by Tao, being adorable on the bears. Uh, so, we got stuff from Erin's, but we also got Jasmine meat and some sweet chili chips. Miss Simmons dropped from the two of the supermarket as well and picked up some juice and cheese and chips. Spending $14.75 on our grocery budget. And we had a lot of luck today at Tasman. We cleared out their entire turkey neck section, which is like five bags, four bags, four and a half bags of turkey necks. Five bags maybe, and a bag of offal. Um, so none of the offer was on special. The turkey weren't ne next one on special either, but they're pretty cheap. They're always like two, between like a dollar fifty and three dollars usually for two, um, depending on how much they weigh. So I think we ended up getting, I think we spent something like sixty dollars on a six dollar marabone and also just turkey necks and offal. So I'll get the breakdown receipt for that. Oh, I'm pretty sure Tao brought the last grocery haul to you, but she's being pretty cute. Tilly's not doing anything interesting, just eating her feet, I think. Tilly, what you doing? Hi. Okay, starting off kind of at the toiletry section, um, I popped into the pharmacy and grabbed some polyamine, so that's not part of the budget. And that's my cute little wallet. Um, so... Uh, some cotton balls to do Tilly's eyes. We just finished our big pack that we had from ages ago, so hardly ever buy those. Um, makeup remover pads for me. I use those every night, so to like do toner and stuff like that, so they're nice and useful. Um, I have tried buying the like the cheaper brand, the home brand kind of version of this, but they're so scratchy and horrible, painful. Um, Toilet paper, 12 rolls for $5. And I was out of toothpaste. I only, I don't go through toothpaste very quickly, so I don't particularly buy cheap toothpaste when I go. Um, I normally buy whitening stuff. This is not a brand I've ever used before, um, but it was on special for $12, I think, which is still pretty expensive, but for whitening toothpaste, it doesn't seem to be that expensive. Like whitening toothpaste seems to be ridiculous so that um mr moose got some deodorant and conditioner which has already gone to his bathroom um i got three birthday cards um for people normally i make birthday cards and i really love making birthday cards but this time around i'm just not going to have time to make three so and one of them actually needs to go out today so not going to have time to do that. Um, and then moving on to pantry stuff. Um, I bought some taco seasoning mix for chicken cheese chili. Uh, I think we're making it this weekend. Um, it only comes in mild. We've never tried the home brand one. So it's uh, it's half the price of the regular old El Paso taco mix. So I thought we'd try it. And then if it's not particularly strong, then I got packets so hopefully that'll work um tonight is crispy skin crispy chicken tacos i normally have mine on rice um i really really felt like brown rice i was craving brown rice today we don't keep brown rice in the house because we're white rice people um so i just picked up like this little like you know microwave one-off sachet thing of brown rice um it's interesting it's called brown and red i don't think i've ever had red rice before I might have had it in Japan, actually, but it looked really interesting and tasty, so that's my dinner for tonight. 
I also got two bottles of Arizona tea because they were on special. Um, I'm going to give the pomegranate one to Mr. Moose because he really likes pomegranate. So hopefully he actually likes the brand pomegranate stuff. Um, this is what I needed to go for. It's coffee. There was no coffee on special. And the jar I buy now, the Makona one, it's $10 a jar. It's so expensive. I mean, it lasts me like a month, but it's still so expensive. So the only thing that was on special was these Nescafe, um, like, sachet things. Um, this, I, so I got a butterscotch flavor and a skim cappuccino flavor. I don't, I have no idea how they taste, but uh, there's 20 subs in there, so um, that'll last me at least a couple of weeks, hopefully, I think. And what else? Um, I got two types of the macro organic corn chips. One's cheese flavor, the other is spicy barbecue for just snacking on and also um, chicken cheese chili on the weekend. And some shapes for Mr. Moose. Um, just a 500 gram thing of gnocchi. I thought this is how much we normally use for gnocchi bake, but Mr. Moose says we use like 1.25 kilos when we make gnocchi bake. So it's going to be a really small gnocchi bake unless we go buy some more. Um, this is new. I've never seen it before. It's Kettle, the Kettle Chip brand, salted caramel popcorn. I'm really excited because, as you guys know, we love salted caramel flavor. Mr. Moose doesn't like popcorn, so this is all mine. But um, I'm really interested to see how that tastes. Um, just some, whoops, let me move from the light. Just some eggs. We've got really, really reduced our egg consumption lately we're using like two eggs a week now just for cooking so it's cheaper that way <laughs> um all the ingredients for chicken cheese chili so diced tomatoes cannellini beans black beans are on special for a dollar a tin and they're normally like a dollar fifty i think so i got two tins of that two cans of caramel uh not caramel <laughs> caramel corn corn kernels um cereal for mr moose some just frozen corn uh, carrots and peas for the gnocchi bake mousse mr moose milk uh some hot twiggy sticks because i got mild ones the other day and i've almost finished them but mild ones are really not that tasty um this is not something i've tried before red rock deli roasted red capsicum pecorino cashews and basil dip it looks yummy and I was, I'm, I'm okay with the onion dip, but I've almost finished it, so I thought I'd try something fancy. It was on sale. Normally these are really expensive. Um, I also got uh, two blocks of light cream cheese for chicken cheese chili. Okay, I'm back. I ran out of memory on my phone. Um, I think I was up to these. We got, I got two containers of the chicken tenders. We've never bought them like ready made like this, um, but they're on sale. They've been reduced twice. So then normally, I think, I mean, the first reduction is $8 and then they go half price. So I think they're probably about $10, $11 normally. Um, but there's a heap of them in there and I do like chicken tenders. So I think um, they're probably just about ready to be in the 20. Oh, okay. They've passed their best before date, have they? No, they haven't. Their best before is like. Oh, tomorrow. Okay, so I think we'll probably freeze some. Um, but I was thinking, like, some of these fallen might be really tasty. So that's what I'll try today. Um, and then for the doggos, uh, just because we did a really, we had a really good buy at Tasman um, on the weekend, on Saturday, uh, we got, like, over a week's worth of food for them for, like, 60 bucks, I think it was. So I got them a few, I got them some treats. Uh, we've been doing more obedience lately, so <coughs> excuse me. I'm gonna cut these up and um, they can work with these because they've just been using leftover kibble we've got, and it's not particularly tasty, I think. Um, also, a new jar of coconut oil. Um, I'd actually reduced this from their diet quite significantly because um, it was kind of to the point where when we first started giving them coconut oil we could see a significant difference in their skin and, and fur 
and then it got to the point where it like leveled off and it didn't seem to be improving any further so I reduced it down um, but Tilly has been a lot itchy lately and I'm actually starting to wonder if partly it's because I've reduced the coconut oil so I'm gonna try I'm gonna start bumping them onto it again slowly slowly because it gives them the runs if they get too much um, and see if it'll help Tilly in particular and because I think for someone like Alfie and Tao I think it's just extra calories whereas I think it on it kind of benefits Tilly and not so much Wilfred so it might just be a Tilly or a tree thing and then um, dentist sticks one on sale so we just got four packets of the Baxter's dentist sticks for cheaper and that is it